It's those songs of unity and hope. Promised Land was like the, I guess, the embodiment of the the soul of like Motown. Even the new dance music lovers, they will eventually hear this song. When I was like 14, I was already thinking like, okay, this can be a hit, this is a special record. And for sure, this is one of those special house records, which I already felt like that. It kind of sums up what house music really was, is all about. It's those songs of um, unity and hope. When I thought about making Promised Land, I wanted to create a classic record, you know. I listened to a lot of Motown records, you know, because for me, Motown was like the epitome of uh, classic. You know, they were hugely influenced by um, the, the, the best of the kind of disco era from 10 years before. I think this was, you know, with, with, with new drum machines and new technology um, and not needing an orchestra like the disco producers needed. Um, this, this was the, the product of all, of all these different um, influences that came out of Chicago. So I was lucky enough to be part of the acid house movement, the warehouse movement of the late 80s when I was really, really young. I was one of the youngest DJs then at the time, regrettably not so now. Um, and Many DJs, myself included, went from playing small parties of maybe 500 people in the course of one year to playing illegal events, raves of 20, 25,000 people. Uh, the media, it exploded in the media. Ecstasy came along at the same time. Uh, because it was, when, it was in that year, 88, 89, when suddenly house music, which had filtered through in the mid 80s, suddenly had this, this momentum of great record after great record. What house music probably didn't have enough of, even though it had these fantastic producers, was great songs. And I think Promised Land was one of a small handful of tracks that changed all of that. It was a brilliant song produced by one of the greatest producers in that 88, 89 era. Uh, the first sing-along record uh, uh, that, uh, that absolutely changed a generation in the UK. I think that in the UK, the media would describe uh, the acid house, the rave movement, as being the, the only significant youth movement apart from punk after the Second World War. It was that significant. And I think uh, Promised Land was arguably the anthem of that era. So Promised Land was like, the, I guess, the embodiment of the the soul of like Motown and the, their early soulful music. Incorporating what we were doing in Chicago, which was utilizing electronic instruments and kind of fusing together what was the new house sound with the soulful spirit of like Motown. Violence, uh, we were on tour doing like one of the Jackmaster House, one of the first Jackmaster House tours through Europe. And what I had noticed was that we were going to countries where people really weren't, where English wasn't the main language, I'll say. But everybody was coming together under the music. So, um, so for me, it was like the spirit of music was really bringing everybody together. It can take on so much meaning for, for different people at different stages of their life. I think at the time they're created, I, I think it was, it could, it could just be a song about everybody on the dance floor, you know, taking you to a promised land, like the DJ taking you to a promised land. And then you could, you could look at it on a very profound level 
of taking you know societies, countries, humanity to it to it to another level. And so the whole thing, you know, brothers and sisters, you know, like music is really bringing us just a promised land. You know, it's it's what tying everybody together, no matter where you come from, your background, your race, um, you know, your religion, ethnicity, music unifies people. I mean, it's just it's a it's a reference to Martin Luther King, but at the same time, only because the promised land is where everybody comes together. It ticks the boxes on every level. It was part of a scene. So it came in on a, on a kind of zeitgeist, very cool kind of thing happening with the, with the birth of house music. But actually at, at its core, you know, great vocal, great lyrics, great performance, great melody. Um, and, that, and that's why you know, it still stands the test of time and will continue to do, to do so. Because we're always trying to get to the promised land. <laughs> There's always gonna be that place, uh, you know, in the human, in the human journey. Even the new dance music lovers, they will eventually hear this song. And it's still an encore song. It's still a song being played by also techno DJs. It's everywhere. It's, it's, uh, it's important for the message to get across to this generation, you know, and I'm, I'm sure future generations. It's, for me, like I said, um, I, I try to create a classic record, and I think, I think it has has become that, a classic, you know, so it's a, I think a house music, dance music classic, um, and I think it's just a way to have the next generation experience it. I do like the Groove Amada remix. Kev like Janssen remix, a lot as well. All the remixes being done are pretty, pretty cool and unique. Uh, even the Cosmic Gate remix, it, it can be played by trans DJs, but also by other DJs. So it's that's a cool mix too. The track influenced my life by um, by allowing me the opportunity to uh, it, a growth opportunity. It was a growth opportunity, so it allowed me to uh, travel the world, and it showed me that house music, dance music, is really like a big love fest, <laughs> you know. And it's a, it's great that um, that it's still continuing on today, you know, more than 30 years later. Um, house is a, a a positive influence globally. When I play the track, perform it live, when I perform live for an audience, um, you know, it's, a, it's an incredible feeling because you feel the love back that the track gives to the people. And, uh, you know, and that's, I think, one of the, the greatest things for any artist or any, you know, performers to really feel that reciprocation for, you know, it's like, this is something that I did to give to the people, and it's great that they give the love back. Brother, brother, brother.